Hi guys, time for the weekly manicure. This week's design is gonna be kaleidoscope and I will use the following products. I will link all the information where you can get these in the description box below. So as usual, starting out with the top coat, I use still my SC Help Me Grow. I have already put one coat down here, I think I said top coat, of course I mean base coat, yeah, babbling on here. So one coat of base coat, Essie help me grow. As a base color, I will use also Essie and the color is Trophy Wife. It's this really, really nice green, shimmery, gorgeous color. I wanted to use it in a manicure for a while now and yeah, it's also a summer color, but I think it's better now for autumn. It's a little darker, so let's try that. It's already shimmery, but of course with Holo everything gets better. So I'm gonna put one coat of this Holo polish on top of it. Then of course Sally Hansen Insta Dry Top Coat before I will start with the stamping. And the stamping today will be done with Hit the Bottle Stamping Polish in Tangerine Scream, which is also shimmery and it's, yeah, it's tangerine color. I'm going to be using my Moyu London Rectangular Marshmallow Stamper, which is really nice. You don't need too much cleanup. You don't get too much images from the sides on the stamper. So in the moment, at the moment, that's my favorite stamper. I have my Moyo London scraper and the plate I'm gonna be using today is Kaleidoscope Collection number 09. I had that for a while but never used it, so it's time. This plate has several full-size images and several half-size. So I'm gonna be mixing thumb and ring finger. I'm gonna be using a full size image for the other fingers. I'm gonna be using half size images. I will go and put on my base color now, but I'm not gonna be filming that. That's just boring. So I'll meet you back when I'm ready for stamping. So I put one coat of the SC Trophy Wife on my nails and as you can see it's already fully opaque with this one coat which is pretty nice so I don't need to have two coats. Next step I'm gonna do a coat of the Holo Effect polish here and then I'm gonna smooth it out with the top coat so that I can stamp afterwards. Also, what I wanted to show you, um, you know I got this uber chic stamping mat or nail art mat from my husband and I also use it to try out different color combinations when I want to do my designs. So I tried out different backgrounds and different stamping polishes and then I decided I would do the Trophy Wife background with the Holo polish and only use the orange tangerine scream stamping polish today because as you can see the pinkish polish doesn't show up as well and also I think the design um, doesn't come out as nice if you use several polishes at once. So I'm going to be using just one polish to stamp. Okay, I'm going to do my other hand. I'm going to do the effect holo and then I'll see you back for the stamping. So I'm ready for stamping now. I have done my one coat of the Trophy Wife. I have put on the holographic polish. And as you can see, when I move my nails, it's a really, really gorgeous effect. And yeah, let's get on with the stamping. I will speed up the video as usual, so sit back, relax and enjoy.
and I'm back. I'm all done, top coated, everything is stamped. I think it turned out really nice. I had some problems with the top coat today on my right thumb. It was not drying properly. I don't know why that happened. I have no clue, never had that before, but okay, I did it two times and the third time it hopefully worked. So anyhow, these things happen sometimes. I think it turned out really nice. I hope you like it as well. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, then please subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And see you next time. Ta-da!